This episode of WISBusiness.com, the show, is brought to you by Grant Thornton, White Hirschbeck Dudek, Madison Gas and Electric, and the University of Wisconsin at Milwaukee. Hi, I'm Liz Schrum for the Wisconsin Technology Council, here with WISBusiness.com, the show. On today's show, Tom Still talks about the need to create jobs in sectors outside Wisconsin's historic comfort zone. And Bruce Moss, the Chief Information Officer for the UW-Madison, talks about innovation, the internet, and Wisconsin. And now, here's the WISBusiness.com stock report for early July. Rising, Epic Systems. The Wisconsin-based electronic medical record firm plans to add 1,000 workers this year. That brings total employment to 6,000. As of mid-June, Epic had 5,400 workers, up from 4,200 a year ago. The company's third set of office buildings is under construction in Verona. Current building projects will add nearly 1,000 offices, a three-level underground parking ramp, a huge auditorium, and a farm field of energy-generating solar panels. And falling, state crop conditions. Lack of rain and scorching heat has parched crops in much of Wisconsin. State officials have already sought two federal disaster declarations to help farmers who suffered crop losses. One request seeks aid for apple and cherry orchards. The second is for maple syrup operations. If the hot, dry conditions continue much longer, other farmers could be turning to federal programs and crop insurance to supplement their incomes. Tom Still is next with his Inside Wisconsin commentary. When someone you count on anticipates your needs, your job becomes a whole lot easier. Grant Thornton clients get advice and recommendations from partners in the U.S. and through member firms worldwide. Grant Thornton. The good news for Wisconsin's economy, it added nearly 20,000 jobs in 2011, according to the now official figures from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. The not so good news? Wisconsin still ranked behind 40 other states when it came to creating jobs. There are several popular and even plausible explanations. The first is the political uncertainty surrounding Governor Scott Walker's recall election, which led some business owners and managers to adopt a wait and see stance toward expanding. The second is the fact that public employees are included in the labor statistics, and Wisconsin experienced a wave of federal, state, and local government attrition in 2011. There's a third explanation. It's less popular, at least in some sectors, because it requires rethinking long-held views about what makes a modern economy tick. Simply put, Wisconsin is putting a lot of its economic development eggs in a few baskets. Everyone knows manufacturing and agriculture are the twin kings of the Wisconsin economy. In terms of overall workforce size and economic value, they are vital. When it comes to creating net new jobs, however, there are plenty of legitimate heirs to the throne. Wisconsin will likely add more manufacturing jobs than other states in coming years, mainly because we're good at it. But the overall base continues to shrink. The Bureau of Labor Statistics predicts manufacturing and employment will decline 1% nationally by 2020 as productivity gains, automation, and foreign competition reduce the demand for labor in most industries. Jobs in agriculture will decline by 4% nationally, the labor economists predict. So, where are Wisconsin's opportunities for job growth greatest? Here's what federal economists predict for the nation as a whole by 2020. Healthcare and social assistance, up 5.7 million jobs. Professional, scientific, and technical services, up 2.1 million jobs. Computer and information technology, up 760,000 jobs. Software, internet publishing, and telecom, up 140,000 jobs. Architecture and engineering, up 253,000 jobs. Life, physical, and social science, up 191,000 jobs. Two other mega sectors of particular interest to Wisconsin are business and financial operations, up 1.2 million jobs, and finance and insurance, up 505,000 jobs. Some of the projected increases are due to recovery from the recession, but much of the growth is tied to expansion in sectors where Wisconsin has a historic leg up. Wisconsin has expertise in areas other than manufacturing and agriculture. If the state wants job growth to surpass the U.S. average in coming years, state policymakers should pay attention to sectors that are forecast to grow. We need more eggs in different baskets. Thanks, Tom. I'll be right back with Bruce Moss, Chief Information Officer for the UW-Madison. 
White Hirschbeck Dudek represents companies at all stages of development and in a wide range of industries to navigate the legal challenges of regional, national, and global growth. At WHD, every stage takes center stage. I'm back with Bruce Moss, Chief Information Officer and Vice Provost for Information Technology for the UW-Madison. Thanks for joining us, Bruce. Thanks for having me. The UW-Madison just announced an agreement with Cisco Systems to work on something called OpenFlow. What is OpenFlow and why is it important? OpenFlow is a type of software-defined networking and the reason it's important is it means for the first time we will have a fully programmable network. Our work with Cisco was very important. We worked with them on research and development and that resulted in them coming out with some new capabilities. We think this is going to move networking forward in a way that is very, very significant. UW-Madison is also part of a new public-private initiative called US Ignite. How is that tied to the open flow movement? US Ignite is a national initiative for 100 gigabit, which is very, very high speed networking, um, based on open flow, a fully programmable network. And US Ignite is about the applications that are going to be developed that ride on top of that. Those applications are going to create uh, tremendous new capabilities within our country. It seems like the internet landscape is changing rapidly. How can Wisconsin position itself for the future? Well, it is changing rapidly. These changes with a fully programmable 100 gigabit network are fundamentally as important as the initial uh, creation of the internet itself. Uh, Wisconsin is fully positioned because of our research expertise in our computer science department and with our network engineers to be able to participate in this creation of the new national broadband network. Thanks Bruce and thank you for watching this edition of WISBusiness.com The Show. The show is produced by WISBusiness.com and the Wisconsin Technology Council and sponsored by Grant Thornton, White Hirschbeck Dudek, MG&E and UW-Milwaukee. Visit our websites to read and learn more. I'm Liz Shrum of Talent Foot Executive Search. See you next time.